Hey guys, Science1324 back again. I realized it's been a little while since I've done an update video of the laser engraver upgrade process. I have uh, laser engraved a new control panel. This is actually just plexiglass and I just painted the back of it black. And apparently I have somebody who's being needy. Oh, you poor baby, you need attention, huh? So yeah, so this is just a piece of plexiglass. I laser cut it and I laser engraved it, and the back is actually just painted black, and I just laser cut where the words are supposed to go. And eventually there will be lights behind each of these words to light them up. I haven't quite got to that point yet, because I'm still working on the programming, because as you can see, there is an LCD screen here. This one's powered up because right now I have it connected to a different power supply just for testing, but I can actually power it up, so eh, I, gotta, I gotta get the plug here. Oh, there's the plug. Stripes, you're making this real difficult. All right. So, I um, have programmed a uh, startup sequence that it runs through. So, or a boot up sequence here, because I'm using the Arduino to monitor the systems in it. Now it's displaying the temperature, it's showing the flow because I have not turned the, uh, the pump on yet, because that's what these buttons, you know, we've got like the test fire, and then the LED lights, the air extractor, laser on and that all that fun stuff but this shows me right now i've got displaying the volts it's getting and for some reason it displays them wrong when i have the laser engraver off so i'm still working on figuring that out so but i can go ahead and flip this on okay so we got power now so for some reason though i think my code has uh glitched out because this it's supposed to turn on the LED lights in there, but for some reason it is turning on the pump and glitching out my screen. So I'm still working on figuring out why it's doing that. I uh, haven't quite got that figured out yet, but then the water pump switch now for some reason turns the lights on. So I'm gonna have to check the code and modify the code. And if any of you know why this glitches out every time the relay clicks on, please post it in the comments below because I'm having issues and I'm not sure how to make it stop doing that because it only does it when I turn on the pump with the relays. Like, turning it on the LED lights with the relays doesn't mess it up, but turning on the water pump with the relays does mess the screen up for some reason. Like, everything still functions perfectly, it's just the screen doesn't display right for some reason. So if you know why, go ahead and leave it in the comments below because I don't know why. But, and this is showing me the reservoir temperature uh, it was displaying the temperature on here for now because um, I've been testing that because the Arduino is going to monitor the temperature. So if it gets too hot, it'll automatically um, cut power to the laser. But I haven't quite got to that point yet either. So, and then these are supposed to light up. So the test fire button and the um, laser on button don't light up currently because they are not controlling the laser at the, this point. I still have to wire that in. So those two aren't lighting up, but the air extractor lights up, and as you can see, the water pump and the LED lights light up. We'll go ahead and open this up, and obviously there's still a mess of wires. I haven't done any cable management yet because I am still wiring stuff up, and so it's still very much a work in progress. You can see the Arduino Mega there. This is actually a custom-designed PCB board that I designed so that I can use the uh, 10K thermistors. I designed it, and I had it printed by... Um, JLC PCB. They printed it and it was pretty cheap actually. So you can see my, my, my logo on there. So that's what's, uh, I only have one hooked up right now. There is space for another one, which is not hooked up just yet. So, but there will be another one hooked up at some point, but yeah, so there's my Arduino mega because there's so much stuff it's running and I need all the ports. So, and then of course the LCD screen and all of the buttons, the potentiometer and everything. I also have the radiator set up here. This is the extra power supply for the uh, temperature screen that I showed you on the front. So it's not wired in just yet because I need to set up a 12 volt power rail to run that and the fan for the radiator. And then the flow meter. And then of course the pumps down here in this makeshift reservoir, which I'm just using temporarily uh, until I can get a better reservoir. And then if you can see clear back there, I don't know how well you can see those. That's the relay board that is running the, turns the pump on and off, so I can turn the pump on and off with the Arduino as well as the uh, LEDs 
for the engraving area. So that's all I have hooked up to it right now. There are two more uh, that I can hook up. I just haven't done that yet. So there is that. I have also added a safety switch here, interlock switch, so that the laser will not fire unless this is pushed down. So it won't fire unless the lid is closed. Just a safety feature I added because I have almost opened this up while it was engraving just because I wasn't thinking and almost got myself, you know, I don't know, it probably wouldn't have blinded me unless it reflected into my eyes, but I didn't want to, I don't want to take that chance, so put this on here just in case. I'd rather mess up my engraving than my eyesight. So I added that in there and it's just wired directly into the power line for, that controls the laser itself. So that's as far as I made it so far. Um, I have moved the uh, power supply. If any of you have these, you know the power supply is usually on the bottom, but I moved it up and drilled holes in the side and mounted it over here so that I could put the reservoir down there for the water so I can still use this while I'm attempting to upgrade it. And then of course, you know, my mess of wires that is still, I am obviously gonna be doing a lot of cable management once I get everything working correctly, but at the moment it's still a big mess. But I can show you the uh, startup sequence. So if I go ahead and close this down a little bit here, I'm going to reset the Arduino and so this is the startup sequence that I've programmed into it. So let's go ahead and reset the Arduino. There we go. And I am still missing a button, as you can tell. There is another button that's gonna be going in as well for the air assist. So I haven't quite put that in yet. But uh, yeah, so that's as far as I made it so far. It is slowly taking shape and I have kind of been trying to uh, make sure I record as I go along upgrading this so that I can make a uh, video as to how I did this and how I put this together in the future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Once I eventually get this thing done, I will be uploading that as well. So it's definitely been a fun project and a lot of work. Huh, Stripes? No, you just sit here and sit on my lap while I work on it all the time, you little bugger. So yeah, but it's getting there. Making progress. So I'll be making update videos to try and keep you guys updated. I will also do another update video of the custom car here in the next few days. I've been working on that and uh, making progress very slowly, but it is making progress. So I will make an update video for those of you who are interested in seeing where that is going. So uh, let me know if you guys have any comments or suggestions or just anything you'd like to say. Let me know in the comments below. I always read the comments on the videos and I try and respond as much as I can. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comments below and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or you'd like to see more. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because Stripe says subscribe. Huh, Stripes? Tell them to subscribe. But thank you all for so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.